Do you want to learn how to publish and subscribe to a ROS2 topic from the command line? Then stay with me. This video is for you. Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS2 tutorials video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking how to publish and subscribe to a topic in ROS2 using the command line tools. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now yes, let's go with the video itself. So let me close all this. And let's go to ROSDS online. We are going to be working here, as always, in the ROS development studio. And from here we are going to create a new project, which we are going to call a ROS2 oops, ROS2 topics. There we go. And we have to select the ROS2 Crystal uh, AMI, of course, configuration. Then let's create this project and start it. There we go. And now let's wait just a few moments until the wall environment loads. Excellent, so here we are. Then let's open a shell, of course, to start working with it. And the first thing we, to, we will need to do is to source ROS2. Uh, this is the ROS2 AMI, but in order to work with ROS2, you have to source it because you have both ROS2 and ROS Melodic, remember that. So the first thing will be to source ROS2, which in this case is Crystal. Let's source it. And this will allow us to start working with ROS2, executing ROS2 commands, etc. Yeah? Then, yeah, first of all, let's do our ROS2 topic list. This command is used uh, in order to get a list of all the running topics. So currently, we only have this parameter events uh, topic, which is a topic related to some ROS parameters. But for now, let's ignore it. But let's say that we don't have any topic uh, running. Uh, so yeah, what we want to do is to start publishing into a topic. So for that, the command used is similar to ROS1. It's ROS2, topic, pop. Then it's topic name, the name of the topic. Then it's message, the message that we are going to publish into this topic. And finally is the uh, structure, let's say, structure of this message, yeah? Then, uh, the topic name, of course, we can choose the one uh, we want. For the message, we have many available. So what we can do here is to, for instance, do a, um, a ROS2 message list. And with this command, we will get a full list of all the available messages we have. Uh, now, as you can see, we have many here. For this example, we are going to use a simple one, the unstring from the standard messages package, package, this one. So, okay, we have the we have the topic name, which we are going to call it, for instance, uh, chatter, the default one, use it in many examples, chatter. Then we have the message, which we are going to use an string. And finally, the structure of this message for this what we can do is to come here to our to our message, to our string, and do a let's copy this a ROS2 message show of the string. And now we can see that basically this string message is very simple. It just contains a variable which is called data and which is of the type string. Yeah? So yeah, we have all the data now available, so let's run our command, ROS2 topic pop, 
the name of the topic will be chatter, then standard messages a string. We can autocomplete this, in fact. And now in ROS1 we had the ability to autocomplete this, but in ROS2 this is not yet available, so we will have to write it by hand. Then um, we just put here the name of the variable, which was data, if you remember. And then here we put the string that we want to publish, like for instance, hello, ROS developers. There we are, so ROS2 topic pop, chatter, the name of the topic, the name of the message, the type of the message, and the uh, content, the structure of this message with the contents, yeah? Then let's execute this and let's start publishing this string, as you can see. And now, in order to subscribe to this, let's open another shell right here. Let's source again uh, ROS2 crystal in order to be able to execute ROS2 commands. There we go. And now, in order to subscribe to this, First of all, let's do a ROS2 topic list to see if this topic is getting published. Here we have it, as you can see, the chatter topic that we are publishing right here. And now, in order to subscribe to this, we are going to use the ROS2 topic echo uh, command, yeah? And the name of the topic, yeah? So ROS2 topic echo and the name of the topic we want to subscribe to, in this case, chatter. So let's subscribe to this topic. And now we will start getting the message here, hello ROS developers. So yeah, there we are. Let's stop uh, both. So as you can see, it's very simple. This is how you publish uh, into a topic and how you subscribe to a topic from the command line. So yeah, that's all for the video of today. I hope you have liked it, you have learned something new. If you liked the video, please give us a like. Remember to subscribe to our channel. We publish in videos every day, ROS tutorials, ROS projects, many interesting things. So subscribe and stay tuned to the new videos. And yeah, that's it. See you in the next video. Goodbye.